In this video, we're going to focus on the total fundamental problem from chapter 1. We are asked to determine the average normal stress in rod AB if the load has a mass of 50 kilograms. The diameter of rod AB is 80 millimeters. For this type of problem, the first thing you should do is draw a free body diagram. This is to show all the forces acting on the system. You have to find a common point where all the forces are acting and in this case it's point A. So we start driving from point A. We have the weight going down and we're going to call it FAD. We're going to call this force FAC. And we're, and we're assuming all the forces are in tension. We're going to call this FAB. We see force, we see force FAC has a slope that is given by 4 in the x direction, 3 in the y, and 5 over hypotenuse. If it is easier for you to use an angle, we can calculate this by simply using theta is equal to 10 inverse mm -hmm. of your y divided by your x. In this case, we have your y, which is 3 divided by 4. And we get an answer of 36. Point eighty six degrees. In this case, I'm going to stick to using the slope because it's the one given in the problem. The second step is to apply the equilibrium equations, which are let me use another color. The equilibrium equations are the sum of y forces in the y are equal to zero and the sum of forces in the x are equal to zero. Let's start with the forces in that y. The force in the y we have force FAD. Force FAD is simply your weight which is 50 kilograms times your gravity which is 9.81 meters per second squared. This gives us 490.5 newtons. So now we, we have here, we can put here negative, negative 490.5 because it's acting on the y direction, negative y direction plus FAC multiply times your slope which is 3 your y direction divided by fifths and we equate this to 0 now we solve simply for FAC you simply move 490.5 to the right making it positive and divided by 3 fifths we, for FAC we get 817.5 newtons now we go ahead and do the forces on the x for the forces on the x we have negative FAB because we're assuming tension plus FAC multiplied times 4 fifths and we equate this to zero. We already saw in the previous for FAC, which is 817.5. So we simply substitute for FAC. We have so we have negative FAB plus 817.5 times your four fifths 
equate this to zero and solve for FAB. FAB equals, punch these numbers in the calculator, and we get 654 newtons. The next step is to calculate for your area. The area for AB is a cross sec is a circular cross section, which is A your area is equal to pi over four times your diameter squared. So we have pi over four and your diameter is eight millimeters. We have to convert this to meters, which is 0 0.008 meters squared. After this, we are asked to, to calculate the average normal stress on rod AB. As you can see, we have, we have your force FAB here and your, and your area right here. The equation for the average normal stress is given by sigma average equals your force P divided by your area. Let's simplify the area. Punch these numbers in the calculator and we get 5.03 times 10 to the negative fifths. Now simply substitute, simply substitute these two numbers, this one and the FAB, into the equation. For the force, we have 654 newtons divided by your area, 5.03 times 10 to the negative fifths meters squared. and we get 13.0 megapascals as your final answer. If you thought this example was helpful, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.